Good afternoon, Dr. Andrew Kirshner, joining you here from my local coffee establishment on what feels like the hundredth day in a row from an unbelievable heat wave. We're just sitting out here melting, but I did have to get out of my office because I've been breathing office air now for days in a row. I uh, hope you had a great weekend. We had a couple things to cover here. Uh, first, I wanted to draw your attention back to the yoga post from last week. We had some really nice responses, which I did post uh, last week, but I did just get a really nice post from Beth Rifkin, who is a sports enthusiast uh, who writes on a variety of topics for a variety of sources, and I encourage you to take a look at her post. Um, I put a link to that at the bottom of today's post. I did receive a question from Trisha, who wanted to find out about a procedure called RFA. Now RFA stands for radio frequency ablation, and what she wanted to know was RFA going to be the, the cure-all for her back pain. She said that she has had sciatica for many years and that uh, one of her friends had RFA and it has really helped her a lot. Well the important thing to do first is for me to give you a little heads up on what RFA is. Sorry about the truck back there, but like I said, I just had to get out of my office. Anyway, RFA or radio frequency ablation is a procedure where a physician will take a probe uh, which is on the end of a needle, pass it through the skin and into the spine and they'll put it right next to where the nerve exits the spine and the nerve has two components, a sensory component and a motor component and what they'll do is they'll put this probe right up next to the sensory component of the nerve and they'll use electrical energy to actually burn away the sensory component of that nerve in an effort to help get rid of the part that's actually causing you pain. Now it's a relatively new procedure. It has been around for a little bit, but it's become more fashionable to do it lately. Um, it does work for certain people if your pain is radicular, meaning that it is causing, uh, being caused by radiating pain from a nerve. Frequently that can be uh, helpful to those people. It can be useful for sciatica, but again, it depends where your sciatica is coming from. As I've said many times, sciatica is sort of like a garbage can, can diagnosis for anything that has to, ir has to do with irritating the sciatic nerve. Uh, radio frequency ablation uh, can be done uh, uh, without anesthesia. It's relatively easy. It's done under fluoroscopy, which means the physician is actually looking at what's being done under uh, an x-ray, so we can actually see live, I'm sorry, I said he, he or she can see live what was done, being done, uh, so it's not being done blindly, and uh, the results can be good, but again, it's only for those people who have radicular pain and only for people who have radicular pain associated with that particular nerve root where they can actually put the probe. So Trisha, I'm not sure if that's going to be the cure for your pain, but it is something worth looking into. you got to see if there's a physician in your area that performs a procedure and check it out. Anyway, I thank you very much for visiting the Backwards blog. I really appreciate all the cards and letters and great responses to our posts, and I hope you'll keep them coming because your contributions are what keeps this site interesting. Thank you for joining me, and I'll uh, see you soon.